All right, so we are continuing. Uh, this hopefully will be the last video on this. Um, there is actually quite a bit more uh, than I thought, so we might make it two videos, we'll see. Uh, anyway, today we're going to put together the cow, we're gonna mount the, uh, the ID badge, we're gonna install the blades onto, onto the machine, uh, probably mount the sticker up here on the, on the cover, uh, we'll see how we go, we might do the handlebars as well. So, this is all pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to start with the blade assembly first. I'm going to do this off the machine, or as much as I can off the machine first. Um, it's just easier to work. So, basically, I've gone and purchased brand new blades uh, from GA Spares. They come in this little packet. Uh, there's a part number, BBN441. Uh, on the front here it says use fitting instructions number four. So on the back of this little page it is four different, uh, five different uh, ways to install these. Uh, so we're using number four. So basically, I've already looked at that. Uh, basically that is just the bolt, the blade, a flat washer and then a nylock nut. Uh, so really it's not, not a great deal to that. Um, and actually, on the on the these so these nuts when you buy the uh, brand new blades these uh, bolts rather are a bit of a funny shape so they've got a uh, a flat edge cut off them now that flat edge is there for per on purpose you'll see that the blade holder actually does not have a round hole so the actual hole the actual hole itself is a uh, elongated hole. Now that's, that's designed for this bolt, so this bolt will slip in there. Now that bolt can't actually undo, um, or, or rotate I suppose, more than anything. Uh, when you put the flat washer, when you put the blade, and then the flat washer, actually the other way around, flat washer, blade, uh, and then your nylock, nylock nut, that actually uh, allows the blade to uh, freely um, pivot. So basically, if you're cutting along the edge and you and you go straight into a rock, uh, it's designed so that the blade will actually bounce back, continue to spin, and then as you pass, it'll uh, straighten back out just with the uh, centri centrifugal force. Uh, so they're designed to do that. It's a very good uh, concept, um, hence hence why they've been around for so long. So. Here we go. Okay, so you can see that uh got our blade assembly together now so uh, quite nice and neat so we've got the bolt the blade a flat washer in the middle a blade holder and then a nylock nut at the back so this will go over the shaft for the blade and there's actually two little locating pins so this uh, these need to be located correctly on the shaft on the machine uh, once you've done that basically it's just a washer and a nylock nut uh, and then that should hold that all onto the machine. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, the blade assembly is now all, uh, mounted on the machine. Um, that's basically that's, that's that's it. So we'll move on to putting the cow together. Once we've got the cow together, we'll bolt that up there as well. So um, we'll uh, pop rivet the ID badge on. Uh, that's quite simple, and we'll pop rivet the uh, I don't know what you call that the uh, the belt cover. Uh, we'll pop rivet that onto the back of the cow. Once we've done that, uh, cow can go on. So. Uh, here we go with that one.
Okay, there you go. That, uh, that was quite difficult actually. Um, just lining up the holes was a bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've, I've, I've uh, placed the, the head of the pot rivet on the inside um, and then the back of the pot rivet on the outside. So basically this part you won't see uh, at all. Uh, if you did take off the cover you would see in here and also you, don't, you probably don't want uh, little uh, divots inside this cow. If you've got a blade spinning around there you don't want anything to catch on there like a, I don't know, like a, a bit of string or something like that. It, it'd be, uh, it'd cause uh, chaos inside the uh, in the cow. So, uh, also noting that the ID badge is in fact actually facing. So, if you're standing in front of the machine, looking at the machine like so, uh, the ID badge is the ID badge is readable this way. So, the cow will sit like this, and as you can see, the ID badge is facing forward, so you can read it from the front of the machine. So. We'll go ahead and we'll mount that up onto the machine. Uh, once we've done that, we'll put the sticker on the uh, on the front cover. And once we've got the sticker on there, we can screw that up as well. So, uh, here we go. All right, so I've decided to split this into two videos because there's, uh, there's a fair bit more than uh, I sort of realised we've got to mount the cow, put the stickers on, the handlebars, the uh, throttle cable, um, the stickers on the cow. Uh, there's a bit of bit of playing around, so I'm going to split this into two videos. So basically, I'm going to mount this cow anyway. So the cow will go on there. There's, it's quite simple. There's just three bolts with um, with uh, spring washers, uh, and then uh, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we've got the, the cow mounted on the machine. Uh, the bolts are quite, they're in a difficult spot, so it takes a lot of uh, slow movements, I suppose. Um, anyway, we've got that up there. One thing that has presented a problem, and uh, it's quite a simple fix. Basically, I've mounted this blade the wrong way. So, on the rear of the blade uh, holder, uh, we've got the nylock nut, uh, and that's actually hitting the cow. Uh, so that's a simple fix. Just gonna have to undo this nut, turn that around, uh, and bolt it back on, and then uh, we should have clearance, and it won't be an issue. So I uh, probably won't film that, but I'll do that off camera, and um, that's where I'm gonna leave this video. Next time we'll mount the cover, stick the sticker on, put the handle up on the grip, uh, handlebars. We'll have the throttle cable for the motor, and. Yeah, we should be able to use it. So that's exciting. So uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um